And then that alarm electrocutes me. I curse the tangible universe. How dare you deal me this king, then tear me away from his skin prior to sun peaks. Reality proves to mate well with irony. Defies all of the happy ending connections stuffed down our throats since birth. You see, we, we've discovered the work. You come from country, that of another and that of our own, and you arrive essentially alone. That initial evening conjoining guitar strings, I kept questioning, what's the catch? And the catch is that I've become so attached that all pain points toward you as my medicinal man. The catch is that my intrigue in you is so grandiose that I, me, the most secure amid insecure seas, can't help but to question what in the good name of fuck you found in me. And the catch is, You've never fully given yourself. A mechanical method engineered through the equations of lone wandering wolves. The catch is I'm on edges of all kinds all of the time, peering over and into the unknown, emotions sporadic and shooting through my successes and into your arms when the applause stops and I no longer want the wretched world to see the fillings of this silhouette when the lights are so bright that my pores peel into aches when the metaphors minimize and moisten into mold when relevance grows old when the artiste can no longer please and all that's left is lengthy listless LV it is you who I wish to collapse on too and majority of the time that's quite literally what I do I give my 6 a.m. 60 seconds until my locks line your chest like backward wings I can't help it I'd rather run to work than miss out on your most majestic of movements Seemingly effortless like those irises, how they intoxicate me. I want to eat your philosophies. I, I swim in your knowledge, the vastness, the solidity. But you take two people who express opposingly and you're left with communication messes wherever you go. But best believe we go. I'll take the reactive strength that both hurts and heals when ensued by who you love most. I'll sit over smoke signals of schedules and configure puzzle pieces until my finger bones expire. Tire myself with misunderstandings stemming from misguidance because I'd rather miss the eyelids than to miss more than a millisecond of sweet coexistence. I once told you I'd follow you into the unknown. I've already roamed the length of this city unaware I was looking for you, my human home. Picket fence as hand, window sill as bone, plumbing as lung, all locked doors sealed shut and left to be undone. Knowing the risk, I still took the fall, or rather the slip we happened to one another. But now we muster muscles for what won't allow growth. We sweat through the work, but we grow, I glow, I welcome inevitable pain. I will it prepare it, preventative methods for future, and I love you when laid upon hospital bed just as much as I will when you're seated on success's throne. What's ride or die? We transcend. We can fly. We have already flown. After long nights of poetry play, you carry me off couches when I can't carry myself. Too many nights your computer screen blares in languages I can't comprehend and I wonder will your evening ever end? You don't seem to intend to finish until your work is done. It inspires me. So I'm fully prepared to proceed in rolling up sleeves, letting the dirt particles build up under fingernails as we create singular space among this unforgiving digital space that isn't kind to those of us who prioritize togetherness the rainbows have left. But the butterflies remain. And perhaps, perhaps persistence isn't so painful anyway. I mean, after all, music brought us together and the notes proceed to play. I, I do hope the sheet of chords never dwindle. I pray the bass line perpetuates even when it's too loud. I hope the, the horns don't lack breath. I hope the keys never stiffen. I hope to be yours, only yours, until the sounds stop and maybe even after that too. I'll work and I'll rise and I'll work and I'll rise and you'll work and you'll rise and we'll work and we'll rise and best believe we go. Let the wretched world take note of this flow that we own, of this flow that we know, that you know, that I know, only we know. At the end of it all, we are inexplicable. Always into the exhausted other end and onto the unknown. And maybe, maybe even after that too. Thank you.